Hello and welcome! This character profile video is for the class Hashashin. And what you'll see is all of his skills, the top 8 PvE and PvP skills that I recommend, his skill combos, enhancements, player card, and a gameplay video. So, without further ado, I give you the class Hashashin. Here we go. And welcome to the skill slide. If you are new to my character profile videos, allow me to introduce the interface. On the left side are all of his skills. On the far right are all of the specials that go with those skills. And then the column charges is how many times you can use the skill. And then hits is how many times that skill will hit a creature or opponent. And damage dash PVE is the highest percentage damage that skill will do against a creature in the world and damage dash pvp is the highest percentage damage that skill will do against another player's character and of course you have the passive at the bottom so a few things to explain and that is uh, look over on specials where you see the red forward guard and the red super armor uh, words if you look in the bottom left corner that just means those uh, abilities are not used in arena Everywhere else in the game, yes, you'll get your forward guard and your super armor, just not in arena. And if you look in the same area where it says max 2 attacks and max 3 attacks, that means, let's let's put it this way. If you look at the first skill for Sand Saber, and if you use it and you tap on it and it hits once, Max 2 attacks means you have a maximum of 2 attacks you can do instead of just 1. By tapping and holding the skill button, then your character will do 2 attacks. So it's your choice, and that's what that means. And that's why it's in green. Now, everything else that you see here is, uh, like the passive, will be explained on the PvP slide. So just take a moment to look at all this, and when you're ready, we're going to move on to the top 8 PvE skills that I recommend. Here we go. And welcome to the PvE slide. So what I've done is I've taken all the skills and I've organized it according to the column of damage-pve. From the highest percentage at the top all the way down to the lowest at the bottom. So the reason why there is uh, eight of them in green, highlighted in green, is because that's the amount that we can take into the world at a time. Now there is a tab where you can uh, have three sets of eight for your choice. But uh, if you're new and you're just wondering, hey, I don't know what skills to choose, then refer to this and try the ones that I've highlighted out. It's just a recommendation. And uh, let's see, anything else to cover? No, I think that's it. Uh, I will explain what the red means in the column for Sand Saber, Solar Strike, Breath of Valor, and Eye of Storm in the next slide, which is PvP. Got a lot of stuff to cover there. So take a moment to look at all this, and when you're ready, we'll move on to the top 8 PvP skills that I recommend. Here we go. And welcome to the PvP slide. So, uh, like I said just a second ago, we got a lot to cover here. And that, let's just start with the basics. I've taken all the skills and I've organized it according to the column of damage-pvp. From the highest percentage all the way down to the lowest. And Unforgiven is your highest uh, damaging skill that you have. Now, everyone who does PvP always wants to know, hey, what is the super armor I can use? In arena and outside arena, I don't want to mess with what I can and can't use. So looking at the list here, it looks like uh, Sandstorm Slash and Eye of the Storm. And usually there's one more, but it looks like that is it for super armor. So the advice is uh, to use Sandstorm Slash as your first move in PvP. And then you can do Unforgiven and maybe Geopulse or Sand Saber and uh, refresh with your Sandstorm Slash to get your super armor again. That's what all the people who do PvP do is they always make sure their super armor is active and refreshed all the time. 
So, the reason why the uh, four skills on the left-hand side are colored red is because it correlates with the passive. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover that now. So, for the passive, to have it activate, use Eye of the Storm, Unforgiven, Solar Strike, and Breath of Owl skills two times to apply the passive state for 15 seconds. And then what you'll notice in, I'm gonna read the actual what happens in your passive, Eye of the Storm, Sand Saber, Solar Strike, Breath of Owl skills are enhanced and 30% of PVP damage is applied as follow-up damage on hit. Also applies 30% additional negative effects to all skills and I'll explain what that means too and increases damage against uh, all bosses by 10% so what you'll notice is that in the passive Sand Saber and Unforgiven have traded places so you use Unforgiven twice if you want to to activate your passive but it really helps out Sand Saber uh, and not unforgiven so I don't know why it's like that but gotta point that out so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut to a video where I show you what your passive looks like when it's active so give me a moment I'm gonna cue that video up for you here we go and here we go so first things first look at the wheel and here are the skills eye of the storm unforgiven solar strike and breath of owl and that second one is Unforgiven, which when you use these skills twice, uh, it'll activate the passive. But that next one on the wheel there is Sand Saber. So all of them and Sand Saber work, but the Unforgiven one, you just activate with that. It doesn't do anything. And there you go. That's what the effect looks like when your passive is active. And all of your uh, those skills I just mentioned are enhanced and 30% of PvP damage is applied as a follow-up damage on hit. And I did say I would explain applies 30% additional negative effects to all skills and I will cover that in the enhancements section. So once again, if you use those four skills that I mentioned twice, you'll see your effect like that pop up so let's go ahead and return now back to the PvP slide and we'll keep going here we go and welcome back to the PvP slide so that covers everything including the passive but uh, once again uh, don't worry we'll cover the negative uh, effects on to all skills uh, very shortly so take a moment to look at everything and when you're ready we'll move on to the skill combo slide here we go and welcome to the skill combo slide so before we get started allow me to explain where you can find this if you are in the game and you go to your menu you go over to the right hand side and tap on skills and now you're on the skills page and if you look towards the middle and all the way down you'll see a icon that looks like a magnifying glass with a circle around it and it will say skill combos to the right of it you tap on that and here you go It'll bring up a little window that says list of skill combos. Now what I've done is I've taken all of them and put it all on one screen for you to print out or you know just put to the side on another monitor so you can practice your character. But uh, I saved you the trouble of having to scroll up and down and see everything that there is. Now the way that it works is Pearl Abyss is giving you ideas on the left hand side in blue is the skill you would start out with like for example uh, let's take the one at the top eye of the storm and then it chains into you can do solar strike or unforgiven as a combo and if you notice sometimes you can get a multiple combo going on like uh, eye of the storm to solar strike and then look down like the fourth one down there's solar strike and then go to Unforgiven, and then from Unforgiven, it doesn't look like it uh, does anything. So you can maybe evade, evasion at the very bottom, and then chain it into Sandstorm Slash, and 
well, heck, <laughs> I'll leave that to you to play around with this. But these are ideas. Once you get the hang of all your skills, you'll see best what you like to chain into what. But this will give you a good starting point. So take a moment to look at this. And when you're ready, we'll move on to the enhancement slide. Here we go. And welcome to the enhancement slide. So if you're new to this uh, slide, allow me to introduce the interface. On the left is all of his skills. On the far right is the branch damage connected to those skills. And then the four columns in the center, the first one, second, and fourth are things that do things for your Hashashin. The third column, I try to make that things that happen to the creature or player's opponent you are fighting. So as promised, you uh, know that in your passive, when it's active, it applies 30% additional negative effects to all skills. So look at that third column. So if you use Sand Saber, where it says target move speed minus 5% for 10 seconds, add 30% onto that. And look at Unforgiven. Target attack speed minus 5% for 10 seconds, add 30% to that, and so on and so forth. This is what your passive does. It adds more misfortune to the creature or player's opponent you are fighting when your passive is active. So the only other thing to mention here is if you look at the second skill, Eye of the Storm, and go all the way over to the right where it says Heal, and the word heal is colored differently, that means it doesn't apply in Path of Glory. Uh, everywhere else in the game, when you unlock the enhancement, then he'll heal himself. So last but not least, all of these enhancements do need to be unlocked. And if you don't know how to do that, if you fight monsters in the world of Elyon, or you get into Hadoom and you see in treasure chests, you'll see these skill books. It's random. But as you learn them and apply silver to it, you will gain in level and you'll be able to unlock those enhancements that have a skill level requirement. So some you could just pay silver, others you got to collect those skill books and then unlock it. So take a moment to look at all this and when you're ready, we'll move on to the player card. Here we go. And welcome to the player card. This is all of the slides you previously saw, all on one screen, and something new. It's like a baseball card. If you are familiar with my character profile videos, and you're interested in any character, you know that, and if you don't have much time, you can just zip right over to the player card, look at everything that that character has, and then when you have time, you can go through the whole video and understand the details behind what you're saying. So let's go ahead and introduce everything at the very top is the top eight PVE and PVP skills that I recommended. To the right of that is something new. It's called immobilization. Any skill that knocks a player or creature up, back, down, stun, bound, freeze, anything that immobilizes them is gonna be told to you here. Whether it does, Yes, it does in green, and how many of those mobilizations do you have? So I want to point out that not only does Hashashin have almost every skill uh, with an immobilization, I mean, his basic Shamshir Mastery and Infusion is his heal, so that will never ever, it's not, they're not, yeah, he'll never have an immobilization connected to him. But uh, he is among the few characters I have seen that has four like three or more skills that have two immobilizations and that's saying something for this character what that means is he's specialized this is to complement him that he should be able to mobilize his opponents a lot easier than most if not uh, many of them so below that are all of the skills that you know and the passive and below that's the enhancements and for those who have been wondering well you talk about forward guard and super armor but i don't know what that means the definition is below and if you're wondering well why should i care about forward guard 
your sand saber has forward guard and this means that incoming damage will either be zero or heavily reduced as long as you have your opponent in front of you maybe a little bit to the right or to the left this will apply if they get behind you then they can attack you and do damage so that's forward guard super armor this means incoming damage will either be reduced and the effects that immobilize you like stun knockdown freeze etc will not happen for a duration of time so if you're someone who enjoys pvp super armor is everything it's what you strive to get out first and get out quick and like i said the uh the two that you have was uh eye of the storm and what was that other one uh yeah uh sandstorm slash so those are the ones that have decent damage and allow you the uh, super armor but it's all up to you these are just recommendations so what we're gonna do now is the music is gonna change and we're gonna move into a gameplay video where we show what the Hashashin can do with all his skills so if you're ready I will see you there here we go and welcome to the gameplay video so before we get started allow us to show you where we are at so let's go and click that we're over here in Balanos and we're at Kron Castle entrance and we're here because I like it here and their CP is 2519 and ours is 5128 yeah you'll be fine so the way that this works is uh, we'll use this auto path we'll have him fight for about two maybe three minutes at which time we'll go back to town and I will do my outro and say thank you so without further ado I present to you the class Ashashin. Here we go. Just about ready to head back to town. Just get in a few more hits, and there we go. So, allow me to take this moment to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, let people know I'm always making more videos, and uh, there's many more videos to do. So, what we'll do is we'll just turn the camera around put him in a uh, display that we can zoom in on and that's about right that looks good and we'll also have him give a wave so let's go ahead and have the Ashashin give a wave <laughs> there we go
And one more time, thank you very much. And you have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye now.